What surprised me most in digging into our sustainability practices is all of the other businesses and employees whom we impact in the northern New England market. I've always said, it's our waste, let's keep it here. Um, let's create the jobs here, let's, let's create the, and stimulate the, the local economy. We're entrenched in the communities, we're involved very actively in the communities that, we, that we're fortunate to live in and do business in. We were sustainable before people even realized what sustainability was. It's just, it was just the culture of the company for us, Coke Northern New England, that started back in the 70s. What we have to focus on as a, as a community, as a country, is recycling efforts. I love what I do. I know we have a positive impact on our local environment and our countryside as a whole. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing and I'm glad to be a part of it. The innovation started with, what can we do with a plastic bottle? We've turned that plastic bottle into the jacket that I'm wearing now. What Coca-Cola is doing is, is unlike a lot of companies out there. In fact, they're a leader in, in uh, recycling and, and they really care. For sustainability, it really starts with highlighting that at, uh, at the top of our organizations, whether it be at our production facility or at our various sales centers, and really highlighting things that are important to us as a company, whether it's recycling initiatives, reduction in miles driven. Everybody feels comfortable understanding that sustainability is a really a core competency for this company. Back late in 2011, we got the approval to um, purchase a blow motor, and in doing so, We've saved about 1,500 truckloads a year of full bottles being brought into the plant. Um, that ratio is about 10 truckloads of bottles to one truckload of preforms. One of the things we're really proud of here at London Air is our ability to reduce uh, solid waste. We're able to recycle about 92% of what everything that comes into this plant. Um, what comes into this plant is about 6,000 truckloads a year of packaging material, concentrate, and other goods, and only nine dumpsters leave in a year. So, um, you know, that's a pretty good ratio, and we're hoping to improve that as the years go on. We purchase on an annual basis about um, four to 450 vending machines and about 1,300 coolers each year. And when we are ordering that amount of equipment, we want to make sure that we are getting the most efficient, the most valuable pieces of equipment that we have that we can give to our customers. We have been able to reduce our mileage by 700,000 miles in the last few years. So sustainability here at the London Dairy facility is really about energy saving, water, and waste reduction. It's really a, a focus with all of our people on a major recycling effort. We've done that over the last six to ten years, been able to reduce our solid waste by 80% during that time frame, recycling everything from PET bottles to aluminum to the strapping and stretch film, all the materials that come into the plant we find the avenues to recycle them. We recycle because of a lot of reasons. Um, we have six million pounds of PET bottles that we processed last year and we sold out to the marketplace. Four plus million pounds of aluminum cans, all our cardboard, all our shrink wrap. We've been recycling these 30 plus years. Everything that I'm putting back out there into the marketplace is so tied to our local economy up here in the Northeast. Foss Manufacturing was founded in 1952 right here in New England. Uh, we've been a New England company uh, for uh, over 50 years now. Uh, we are located currently in Hampton, New Hampshire, where we've been since the early uh, 70s. We employ approximately 500 employees, and we manufacture over a million square yards of fabrics per week that leave this facility and go to a variety of different customers and marketplaces. And one great example is a shoe that we're making now for New Balance. We're actually taking um, a needle punch, non-woven fabric that's made out of recycled bottles. We're coloring it, needle punching it, and creating a fabric out of it. And it's making the whole upper of the shoe. And it's called New Sky by New Balance. And we're very proud that we're the fabric that's making the upper of that. One of our uh, issues today is finding enough bottle resin to keep our plants running at the levels we want and with the products that we're making. Uh, we currently buy a lot of uh, recycled bottles from companies that are right here in New England themselves. Uh, Poly Recovery, that is just about 10 miles north of here, is one of our main sources for some of the recycled uh, bottles that we acquire. A lot of those bottles come from Coca-Cola. 
The largest misconception about plastic is that it's ending up in a landfill, which is just not true. Uh, plastic, especially PET, is one of the easiest things to recycle. We have the ability to process it all day long. The relationship that, that we've developed with the likes of Coca-Cola and here at Poly Recovery and then down the road at Foss Manufacturing, we're creating a process where we are recycling it right here in everybody's backyard. It's not just sustainable in environmental, it's sustainable economically. Uh, because you're creating more jobs and you're keeping these local cluster groups um, and essentially building your community. No one does it better than Coca-Cola. Polar Tech was the inventor of fleece in 1981. We worked with Patagonia to really invent modern synthetic fleece. Since then we've been working on uh, all kinds of fabric innovations from waterproof breathable fabrics to additional high loft fleeces, recycled fleece. 50% of what we make on a daily basis out of our Lawrence, Massachusetts facility is made from PET plastic. We buy millions of pounds of yarn from Unify Reprieve. We turn that yarn into fabric and sell it to the best brands around the globe. We're the largest independent post-consumer PET processor in North America. We specialize in PET, that's all we do. What we're looking for is more containers at all time, and we do about two billion containers a year. That's about 80 million pounds. Well, I think the life cycle of a plastic bottle is, uh, is very unique. Let's start out with a, uh, with a Northern New England Coke bottle. Coke will basically get the bottle from one of their converters, they'll fill it, they'll sell the product. The consumer will take that product, consume it, and then return that bottle, and then it winds up in the waste stream. And then we will basically buy that bottle, and that bottle comes back in here in, uh, in typically, say, a baled form. And now we're going to take that bottle and we're going to break it down and we're going to try to recover the individual PET resin that, that it started with. That resin will be basically converted back into a wash flake or a, a melt filtered pellet and we're going to sell back to companies uh, a company like Foss who's going to use it to make, say, fine denier fibers or it's going to go to a company that's going to injection mold it back in the free form, make a bottle, it'll go back to Coca-Cola and we'll start the process all over again. Today, polyester water bottles can be 100% recycled and used into products that the consumer is buying every single day. And what the people of this nation need to understand is that there's not enough of it for the demand that we have for polyester fiber. We need more recycling efforts, we need more recycled bottles uh, for a lot of the applications that we make here at Foss. People don't get it. I think they get the wrong impression on plastic bottles that there might be uh, you know, an issue or it's evil because it doesn't biodegrade, but there's a huge market. Uh, there's not a bottle that can be collected that you can't recycle it back into usable form. For me to be able to provide that to them instead of throwing it into a landfill is, is just, it's great. It makes me feel good about what I do. We go out of our way to recycle like crazy, not just the beverage containers that we sell and deliver, but also all of the ancillary materials uh, involved in, in the manufacturing and in, in our business. We think plastic is a pretty great material. Uh, look at the amazing things that can be done with it. What we'd like to see and we advocate and we will support is increased recycling at the local level so that more plastic bottles, more aluminum cans can be recovered and put to great use. Casella has been recycling for over 40 years, but the evolution of technology and efforts, it's allowed the customers to recycle more, to make it easier. It's just the right thing to do. Using Zero Sort, it's a very direct movement goes from the collection site, whether it be the home or business, right to the processing facility. It removes a lot of handling in between. The capture rates go up, and it's, we have the ease of processing with modern technology. Zero Sort's important because it collects more material. The other great thing about Zero Sort is it makes it easier for the people to recycle more material. Sustainability to me is just doing things right as far as what we do with our material before, how we process, what we do with what's left over at the end of the day. This company gives me great support and sustainability methods uh, and, being, and, and continuing that effort going forward. Sustainability, it's, it's you know, our customers demand it. Uh, it's the right thing to do, our people want it, and it's, it's just the right way to conduct business. 
good, solid sustainability practices are an expectation from both our customers and our consumers. They're expecting the folks that they purchase products from to have good sustainability programs. We know it's important to encourage all of our associates around the importance of sustainability and encourage them to really live that only here at work, but hopefully it translates into their lives as well. What's important to me is we continue to engage in the conversation with our customers and consumers. I love what I do. When we can physically go out and touch where our material goes, for us to be able to help them grow the way they've been growing, it's, it's again, it's just one of those things that really makes me feel good about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis.